Hello, pretty dudes. It is your friend Cameron, the blushing foreigner. It is a beautiful spring day here in Copenhagen. I am super chipper right now. The sun is out. I just took a nice walk. Oh my gosh, we were in Newhound where the port is. Not the port, it's where it used to be like the main port of Copenhagen, but there's all these old boats and cafes out on the canal. There's a few canals sort of running through that neighborhood and it's pretty close to where I live. So I was walking through there and everyone was out smiling in little cafes and people just really perk up when the weather turns beautiful like that. We can have a really long, hard winter in Denmark and then like in an instant it's spring and everyone just emerges from their homes lit up, absorbing the sun, just much more happy than before because it can be a hard winter sometimes. But now we have gone the other way. Today was our first day of daylight savings here in Denmark. So even though I lost an hour of sleep, I am super stoked right now. So it's beautiful. I hope it's beautiful wherever you are. And I want today do my March favorites. Just run through a few items I've been enjoying. There's not a lot of stuff, but I will get through this. Okay, the first item is Nubile Paint Pot from MAC. It's really hard to see. I would say it's a color, it's right here. It's a color a few shades or tones darker than Painterly. But it works beautifully as a base for my eyeshadows. I can still get some good blending work above this paint pot when I layer a shadow over it. Sometimes I don't even do that. I'll just use this and nothing else. But it works great. I had the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I had a huge tube, that professional size tube. It dried out and I probably only used like three, no, a quarter of it. I can't use that so I've been turning to my paint pots because I can get those here in Denmark. I can't get Urban Decay in Denmark. But yeah, that's kind of a strange problem. This is from the Top Shop. It's called the Magic Liner and it's in the shade Engraved. This is a special collection item. I don't think it will be a permanent part of their makeup line. I tend to buy actually a lot of their products at Topshop. I think they have some trendy colors. I really enjoy the fashion from that store and I think they try and reflect their taste and their aesthetic in their makeup items. The colors are really funky and bright and cool. That's why I tend to buy a lot of their lipsticks and just things here and there. But this is an amazing liner. It's got a super fine tip and that's what I love about it. It's this color right here on the outer part. I did a few swipes so it's a bit thicker there, but I love this liner. If you know of a pen liner like this that's in brown, please let me know below in the comments. I would love to find this kind of liner pen with a really thin tip that is like a marker, but in brown because black can look a little severe on me and it's, it's a bit dark. I've still been wearing this a lot in March almost every day because I'm going for the no eyeliner look. So when it's really thin, I can just kind of like dot it in or just really thin line along my lashes and that's it. I'm not even flicking it. You can wing it really nicely with a pen like this, but I'm just sort of doing the, the upper eyelid and that's it. And then just a little bit of light shadow and it's much more natural that way. But if you know of a line that makes something very comparable to this, but in brown, please let me know. I would be so thrilled to find something like that. I have this gosh pen. This isn't a favorite, I would say, but I bought this. It's their intense eyeliner pen in brown. It's good, but it's not fine enough. If you look, it's a nice marker pen, but the tip isn't super thin. It's not like that elongated setup that I like, so it's okay. It's, it's a good brown, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. Okay, I've been wearing this Chanel Jus Contraste in a Spiegel. It looks like that. I could try swatching it, but I have a feeling it will not show up. So what I'm going to do is link you to Rachel's blog post about this. She took some photographs. It was through her recommendation that I knew that this would be a color I like. I actually really love it. It's, it's light, so it's a very natural blush for fair skin girls. I've been using it over my Illamasqua cream blush. And also my Cha Cha Tint from Benefit. Those are my two main blushes. I love those. They work so well. They last a long time, but they can be a little harsh. It's a little bit of a dark cheek. So when I blend this over and I use this Eco Tools blush brush, I've noticed that it just kind of softens it and makes my other blush look a bit lighter. So it's natural. It's a good blush. 
I'm not gonna say it's a must have because I think you can dupe this in other in other lines and I think I think it's quite expensive. They were doing a sale at Illum. The whole makeup department was 25% off. So this was a good deal. That was why I bought it. But I don't think it's a must have, but I am enjoying it. So if you're gonna buy this, do your research, see if there are dupes available because I, I kind of think NARS blushes are a bit better. This is okay and I'm enjoying it, but I, I feel hesitant to say go buy it because you know, in, in a few months I could be retiring this and not using it because I don't think it is as long wearing or as necessary as some of the other blush products that I own. So that's my two cents on that. I'm so leery about telling you guys the products I love because I know I have watched many a video and been sort of sucked in and bought into the hype. I mean, it's my own fault. But I need to be extremely judicious about the recommendations I give and the glowing recommendations I give. So even if I'm loving it this month, in a month or two I may not be using it. And you went out and spent a lot of money and bought it and you're like, oh, wait, you're not even enjoying it anymore. Or, Cam, why did you say it was amazing when I think it's only average? So I'm really careful about the words I use to describe. I usually just say things are good and fine and pretty rather than amazing and you must buy it. Uh, I mean, that's sometimes how I feel on the inside. Like, I love this thing. But when it's a newer product that I haven't tested for a few months, I've only had it for three to four weeks, I can enjoy it quite a bit right now, but I'm so careful to not say go out and buy it because these things can be very expensive and I really want you all to to be sensible and make the purchases that are right for you. That's my caveat, my little disclaimer. No one's gonna sue anybody. I have MAC Shy Girl and I've been wearing this like crazy this March. It's this color right here. And it's a beautiful color. I have it on my lips right now. I put a gloss over it. I'll show you which gloss I'm using on top. It is by Gosh and it's the Volume Lip Shine in 01 Soft Coral. I'll layer it over. It's just a beautiful peach. It's got a tiny bit of pink in it. And there it is over Shy Girl. I like this lip gloss formula. I haven't been using it all month because I only bought it recently, but I think it's, it's a color that I'll probably be using a lot during the spring and summer. So, I think that's it. I have one more beauty item and that's my Marc Jacobs perfume. I've been wearing this quite a lot and it's gorgeous. I'm gonna cheat and do some Googling and figure out what the heck is in this product because I have no idea what scents. I do not have a clue. I have like the worst nose. I cannot pick out like, oh, that's some patchouli and lemongrass and blah, blah, blah. I have no clue. Sorry about that. I can't describe it, but it's pretty and it is nice and I love it. So that's my perfume. I've been wearing also Lolly A Wish, which I've described maybe a year ago. I love that perfume, but I've gotten some comments about it that haven't made me super thrilled. I work in an open office space where all of the creatives that are office um, are in one huge room. I hate that kind of workspace. It's so hard to focus sometimes because there's people and music and that uh, and you just really need to get in the zone and I'm writing and oh my gosh. There have been many studies done that prove and indicate a huge drop off in employee productivity. I think productivity goes down like 85 or 90 percent when you put your workers in an open space and yet almost every business in Denmark is like that where you don't have your own office or your own little you know, not that cubicles are, are lovely or where you have your dividers and it's very like depressing and very office space. But I work at a desk right next to my friend Christian and he has commented on that old perfume I used to wear and he was like, oh, it's coconut, it's, it's Malibu rum on you. And I was like, I don't wanna smell like Malibu rum, but that's the, the notes that he was picking up was coconut, even though there's no coconut in that perfume. So I gave that one a rest. I've been using my Marc Jacobs and I think it's pretty good. Last little item is a piece of jewelry. It's this bracelet. Do you know what is so freaking cool about this is that it's it looks like a gold bracelet, but it's just nuts, like nuts and bolts. It's like little screw things. As you can tell, I'm not like a 
a Home Depot kind of girl. I don't know what the heck this is. I think it's called a nut or bolt. Can you tell me if you know? I have no clue. I'm terrible at DIY stuff. So some clever person made this bracelet and I bought it at a shop here in Copenhagen. It's called Noor and they only sell Danish, Swedish, Norwegian designs. So it's Nordic kind of place. This jewelry designer is from one of the three Nordic countries. Scandinavian countries. Nordic is actually including Finland and Iceland. So that's Nordic. Scandinavia is just the three countries. Sweden, Denmark, Norway. I love this bracelet. I think it's so fun. It's got these strings that you use to tighten it. And I've been wearing that quite a bit. Okay, everyone, I am super souped up on cappuccino and sunshine and I'm gonna go out and take a walk. I wanna warn you guys, not warn you, but I wanna let you know I'm gonna be going home on Tuesday, today is Sunday. I'll probably post this video Tuesday or Wednesday after I leave. I'm gonna uplink it soon, but I'm gonna actually sort of release it, I think, in a few days. So I'm gonna try and film when I'm home in California but that doesn't always work out because we have internet issues at my parents' house. They have like a slow connection or something, I don't know. But if I can get to a Starbucks and the connection there is decent, I will try and post some videos. But if I don't, that's the reason why and I apologize in advance if there's a gap in, in my postings in maybe a week or two. I'm gonna be gone for two weeks. So I'm very excited, I'm gonna have Easter with the family and we're gonna go to Tahoe and San Francisco and all that good stuff. I hope you all have a wonderful April. I hope you have a beautiful spring and I hope you're smiling and I'll see you soon.